Hi everyone, this is P. Arcangel filling in for Howie Severino on the Howie Severino Podcast. Siyempre, usapang relationships, hugot, and self-love tayo with our guest today. And with us is psychologist and host of the GMA Public Affairs Digital Series, Share Ko Lang, none other than Dr. Anna Tuazon. Ano yung mga pinaka-challenges, Doc, for um, pandemic dating? When it comes to long-distance relationships, no, like pre-pandemic, syempre meron na yan. Pero most people who engage in long-distance relationships before the pandemic, napag-isipan. Diba? They made a choice. It's a conscious decision to get into such an arrangement. Ang nangyari sa pandemic, ano, diba? parang, you parang stranded. <laughs> Suddenly, you are stranded in a long-distance relationship. Hindi mo pinili. The challenge there is, yung mga tao generally hindi handa for that kasi that wasn't in their plans or they don't have the personality or temperament for a long-distance relationship kasi hindi naman lahat kiyang diba, sa long-distance. It's also a good time diba, in crisis to see sino ba talaga ang partner ko kasi how they respond to crisis how they respond to challenges, makikita mo yung totoo. Di ba? And I'm ko kasing kilala, Doc, na parang uh, reklamo sila ng reklamo na nasa isang relationship sila na hindi sila masaya. And then, when eventually they do break up, after siguro mga one week, two weeks, biglang, ay, text ko na, babalikan ko na, hindi ko na kaya. Bakit ganun, Doc? <laughs> May, nangyayari ba talaga yon? So, pwede naman, no? Hindi naman always a bad idea to do that. I know some people and some friends, diba? After a breakup, they come back. Kasi, very important. It's not the breaking up and coming back that's important. It's the fact that they reflected on what was important, diba? While they were away. While they were apart. Because I think there are way more people na, mag, na nagbabalikan then it doesn't work out. Kasi guess why? Nagbalikan sila, pero hindi naman nila inayos yung nasira or parang, di ba, parang sometimes, ay, hindi, let's just pretend that it didn't happen. <laughs> Take two. And then, and then, kasi, you have to acknowledge, di ba, there's a reason you decided to break up. And usually, those reasons are obviously important enough reasons. Kasi if not, you wouldn't have considered breaking up to begin with. And so, unless that issue, so, for example, nako, very serious yan. Gusto magkaanak ng isa, ayaw ng isa. Gusto na magpakasal, ayaw ng isa. Those are very important reasons for staying or breaking up. And so if that hasn't changed, and na mismo lang kasi wala ka nang kausap, mahirap mag-date sa pandemia, mahirap makahanap ng bago. Sabi mo, sige na nga, di ba, balik na lang ako. Nako, di ba, that's not a really good reason um, to get back together. However, for people, let's say, who broke up way too impulsively, walang reflection, di ba, nag-away lang. Tapos pride got in the way, di ba? So parang, ala na, ayoko na, hindi na kita pa- kakausap. Um, baka mas yung tanga, you eh, know? And then they realize, oh. <laughs> may hope <laughs> pa yun. Lang, oh, baka may hope pa. Although, for me, kasi the fact na impulsive ka makipag-break, may maturity question yun. <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Oo oh, nga, no? <laughs> so, so, dapat ayusin nyo rin yun. Di ba? Parang kailangan marunong tayong mag 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 argue mag mag discuss na hindi ginagamit ang break up as a weapon. Di ba? Yun, yun ang aayusin ng couple na yon. So, it really depends paano nag break up and paano bumalik. However, two weeks is too short. Sometimes I ban. <laughs> Sometimes I give a ban from people. No, that, that's too short kasi what that is most likely is withdrawal. Diba? Kasi sanay ka na eh na may nag, nagtatan, nangangamus ka sa'yo. Naku, ako ang, diba, yung namimiss ko dyan is kumain ka na ba? Diba? Kamusta yung araw mo? Yung may, you know, may, um, nag, may umiisip sa'yo. So, it's not really the person that you miss, but the routine. Diba? The routine that you miss, the attention that you miss. Um, so, I would say two weeks in generally, um, ano pa talaga yan? Withdrawal pa lang yan. Keep it a, a month, a few months. Um, and pag nakita mo na, actually, okay na akong mag-isa eh. Di ba? Parang hindi na masakit maging mag-isa. Kasi pag masakit pa mag-isa, withdrawal yan. So, kailangan okay ka na mag-isa, okay na ako sa routine ko, pero alam mo, the end of the day, yung in yung stubbornness ko with that relationship pero parang hindi naman pala siya kasing important as i thought it was. Di ba yun yung okay na healthy 
uh, reassessment na pwede ka sigurong bumalik, right? Um, at two weeks. <laughs> That's ano. Diba? Oo, para masyado maiksi, no, Doc? Two weeks. Oo. Eh, di ba tayo nga pag nag-end ang TV show, drama, kay drama, di ba? <laughs> Meron tayong grieving. Eh, di ba? Yun lang lang din yun, di ba? So, Doc, so, totoo yung three-month rule. Di ba? Meron nagsasabi <laughs> na pag gano'n, dapat three months ang hihintayin. <laughs> Fixed formula ba yan? <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. uh, ay- ayoko naman maging masyadong black and white na exactly three months. Ako, personal ko pa yan. Three months for myself. <laughs> Pero, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Sabi ko nga, you'll know, you'll know it, it's okay. You'll know it's not rebound. Right? You'll know it's not withdrawal when actually your day-to-day life isn't miserable anymore. And actually, okay na siya eh. Parang diba? kailangan na something pa rin for yourself talaga, Doc. Yes. Kasi if you're only happy in the relationship when you're together, And then you can't either tolerate, di ba? The alone time of each other. Or ikaw mismo. You can't stand alone time, di ba? And you need your partner everywhere. Um, it's not a sustainable relationship. Eh, paano yan ngayong pandemic? Parang mahirap magkaroon ng separate time. Especially if pareho kayo, kumwari, um, for a couple that either lives together or mag-asawa na magkasama sa bahay, E eh parang kung pareho kayong work from home, edi eh together lang kayo all the time. So paano nyo parang babalansahin yon And how do you parang manage being kung mag-stuck together during pandemic? So it's really important. And I know, di ba, syempre, hindi natin pwedeng i-deny na al- alaking part nito is the availability of resources. Buti sana kung yung bahay, may mga separate rooms, di ba? Parang merong space. Siyempre means hindi naman lahat may afford to have a house that has separate areas. Pero for example, kahit na, kunyari, o oh, sige, ako mag-alaga, don't worry. ba diba? Kahit nandun lang kayo sa bahay, kung sabihin ni Papa, ba diba? Mommy, ako nang bahala sa mga kids. Go have your alone time, chat with your friends, drink some wine. ba diba? Mag-me time ka sa banyo, have a really long shower, <laughs> or go watch your Diba? Go watch your K-drama. Dito kami. I'll, I'll take care of the kids with their homework sa room nila. You know, parang you can always find a way. Diba? So even if, sige, um, sige, dyan ka muna sa bedroom. Dito muna kami sa living room. O kaya laruin ko sila sa labas. Right? Kung talaga wala space, laruin ko sila sa labas. As long as it's safe. Um, and then, diba, the person, uh, very, very important. Or pwede namang parallel play so to speak you're in the same room pero diba you allow you allow the the partner to read chat with friends away from you hindi mo pinapakialamanan pwede rin yon if you want a healthy fulfilling relationship kailangan ano ka diyan eh sabi ko buo kang papasok sa isang relasyon at dapat buo ka ring lalabas yun ang important it's more important to have a strong sense of self before you enter a relationship. Kasi kung ibubuo mo sarili mo within that relationship, parang may, ano eh, mangyayari, hindi mo na tulo, you define yourself with that relationship. So, pa nag-end ang relationship, hindi mo na alam sino ka outside of that. So, actually, sa mga taong single, sinasabi ko nga sa kanila, this is actually a good time. Kailangan, you are at your happiest, most fulfilled, complete self. Kasi when you enter a relationship, it's gonna be so much better rather than wanting to enter a relationship because you do not like your life now. Diba? You are miserable, mm-hmm. you're lonely. So, feeling mo, gusto ko magka-relationship para hindi na ako lonely. I will tell you, lonely people who enter in a relationship are also lonely inside the relationship. And honestly, that's the more painful loneliness, really, when you're with someone. You're with someone, pero sad ka pa rin, no, Doc? Lonely ka, you feel neglected, di ba? Mm-hmm. You don't, you don't get the attention, the affection that you need. Kasi parang feeling mo, wala ka ng rasan dapat, di ba? Parang sa gano'n, di ba dapat hindi ako lonely? May kasama na ako. Bakit, bakit lonely pa rin ako? Mm-hmm. There are many, many lonely people in their marriages. Mm-hmm. No? So the loneliness is not something to be solved by other people. Hi, I'm Howie Severino. Check out the Howie Severino Podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms.